Yay, folks, we're back out at the farm running the excavator today. Um, we was asked by another guy to uh, make some more excavator videos because he liked watching them, so I'll try to get you something put together today. I don't know if I'll get any action shots, but I'll just tell you what I'm going to do. Got the excavator started up running, which uh, was no easy task. It was easy to get it started once I had the key. I grabbed, somehow got my keys mixed up and had the master key for this machine, the one that turns the batteries on and off, had that one on a key ring with a key that didn't start the excavator. So I grabbed what I thought was the right two keys this morning. Turns out I left the excavator key, at home, the engine key, ignition key at home. So I had to call my wife and just told her, bring me every key you can find in the key drawer and I'll sort it out. And as soon as she gets here, bingo, there it is. Um, so I got her started up running now. We've got this little brush pile that I dug up out of the mud about a month ago when I was working. Stacked it up here so it'd be up out of the water and dry. And then behind it, we've got the burn pile I had going last time. So I'm going to try to get this stuff moved over and kind of stacked up for my tender and then get those bigger logs put back on top of it. And then try to get the rest of this area in here cleaned up and see if I can't move the excavator on back a little further and start working on the big pile back there. But that's what we're doing today. Just more stacking and burning. Um, had an interesting little experience this morning as I was trying to find the key for the excavator I thought well shit maybe I left it in the ignition which would have been horribly stupid but maybe I did and now the whole cab was locked up but this front piece of glass or plexiglass whatever this front piece right here is missing it's never here um, so I'm trying to crawl in here through the hole to look see if I left the key in the ignition I hear something moving in the cab my first thought was just a rat you know and then I look up and I see a cat domestic wildcat not like a bobcat but a house cat up there on the armrest staring me in the eye and not happy and I <laughs> I had to put my head down and cover my head and she bailed out around me and then I hear kittens this stupid cat had kittens in the excavator so four little kittens now I can't you know can't keep these stupid things but I can't keep a secret so I called my wife and told her that was really what got her to come out here I'll make sure to come out just to bring me the keys but she came out to see the kittens so We've got them put off over here in the woods, you know, away from the work a little bit. Put out some cat food for mama. Hopefully she'll come back and deal with them. But if not, I guess I'll be taking some taking some kittens home today too. But anyway, enough yapping, get to work. Well, it looks a little different now. Not a whole lot different, but basically I just moved that big pile of long trees that was right here. Cut a couple of them in half, broke most of them in half, and then just put them over here. I've got a, a good, pretty hot fire going right now on that stuff. Um, the only downside to that is that I've got all that stuff that I don't have a good hot fire on. So uh, that's where I'm headed next. I'm getting ready to walk over there and take a look at it and see what I can do as far as trying to work my way in there and start start working on it and start getting some of it burn up. So maybe by the time I get out of here today, I'll have two good fires going. That'd make me sure happy. I right, try to get a little in cab action. It's difficult because I'm. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Hold the bone between my knees. Let's see how well this works. So this is a, uh, what I'm working in here is a, supposed to be a burn hole that the first guys that ever came out of here and did clearing work for me dug this hole. Of course they dug it in the wrong dang spot despite the sketch that I gave them. And then they filled it with logs that wouldn't burn and then now it's full of water. So I'm having to fish all these logs out of here which are sopping wet so they're not going to burn now today but I'm putting them on top of my burn pile my other burn pile, my, my second burn pile, and we'll get them lit up later, but let's see if we can get a bite in here. some water run out and, uh, and we'll take it around here on the pile and I'm going to have to drive with my hands because I can't use my feet. But...
miles, just about done. Just about as high as I can go with it. It's starting to tip over the backside now. This is a nice big pile, so. Sorry for the rocking and rolling, but I was holding the phone between my knees, so it's kind of bumpy. Maybe if I ever get real good someday, I'll get a little camera mount inside the cab here. I don't know how uh, Let's Dig has his mounted, but it's really not that important to me. Just thought I'd show off a little bit because some of y'all were asking for it. So, where's all the swamp loggers at? I think they got this. Old Shelby Stegan with the cat boat and all those other guys. You just get your next man on a barge out there in the river and just dig them up. I'm unearthing all kinds of good stuff. Turns out when you've got a really big bucket on your excavator, it picks up a lot of water. It's fun. This might be some of the most fun I've ever had running this thing. People are eyes. He me about, oh, you know, you just like to get out there and play with that big boy. And I remind him, you know, that it's only play for, woo, look at that one. Look at that old pine. Old nice pine. She's been submerged for like six months. Got to be worth about a dollar. That's a good one. I was going to stack this up, but I'm taking this bike to the burn pile. Well, I finally figured I'd take a little break. I've been going hard in the excavator for probably about an hour and a half or so um, stacking and burning stuff uh, this pile's burning pretty good now I just knocked it down a little bit I, I put some dirt on it on accident and knocked it down some but still burning good and hot and you can see it looks a little messy because I've been stirring it around and, and knocked stuff over but let me show you the, the new big pile that I built and I'm pretty proud of this and it looks a little messy too because I got I got a little too high with it but there's the big pile over there the one that the uh, not so professional guys left me and you can see it's all crisscrossed and tangled up like big um pickup sticks you know and uh, I got in here on my mats and cut a hole in the middle of it there and stacked it up here so kind of get an idea this thing is I'll well, walk up to it and see how tall it is but it's pretty doggone tall but what's important is how it's stacked this over here is a mess crisscross and all sorts of tangled up so i was parked in here with the excavator and i did this actually before i showed you all the work i was doing in the water hole there's our water hole so i had my match just laid in here so i could drive in and out on them drive in on them give me a bite if it wasn't a nice even bite meaning all the logs are you know the same direction i dropped it rearranged it got another one so that then i could back up with a good even bite and stack it right here so you can see I got a couple that fell off because it got so tall but it's pretty damn high up there but let's walk around the back and see how it looks maybe it'll look better in the back I don't know but this is good because this is it's stacked in tight and it's tall so and it gets hot underneath all that heat's gonna rise and it's gonna burn hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter so uh yeah I guess it looks about as jumbled in the back but most of that's because of stuff that I dropped on top that rolled down the backside but you can see right in here where I started how most of those on the bottom are laid in pretty tight on top of each other but I'm not gonna light this one up today because it's about four o'clock and I've got to have some time tonight it's date night so I got to get home but anyway uh, might try next time I come out here and try lighting that pile and just see if it's dried out enough that it'll burn I don't know but uh, I'll have a hard time getting in here to, to work on it if I do because this is all water so I mean it wouldn't hurt to throw a match on it and see if it'll burn but if it don't I'll have to eventually get in here and move it and burn it again but anyway I'm gonna tidy up things here for today and I think I'm done so decent little day once I found my keys I'm happy to finally get some work done well we had our first failure this keeper pin that goes through here busted and I don't know I don't know when or how I'm sure I just got it in the bind and broke it but luckily I caught it before it fell completely apart I just happened to glance out and saw that this main pin here was slid out about 75% of the way on that side. Um, shut it all down and uh, just kind of you know, set the bucket down, 
put a little bit of weight here on the thumb since that's what it's connected to and then you know just work your stick and boom however you need to realign things and got her shoved back through this bolt i stuck into this just it's actually a spare lug bolt for my truck um, but i just wanted to stick something in there just so it wouldn't fall apart while i moved the truck but that also gives me an idea of what size it is so anyway broke a bolt but luckily uh caught it before i broke anything else so yeah First uh, failure on the machine, I guess. First breakdown.